we're going to talk about using a hand drawing that you've so you create your drawing anywhere you want um, on paper on hand this one I've got now I've so I found my image I redrew it on my smartphone actually um, on my Samsung uh, note but you could draw this by hand um, in any way and just take a photo of it all, all we need is a basic photo so we're going to use that photo um, here it is fish food I'm just going to place it in here and when you place it in, it's going to place it really big so I don't need it that big I'm gonna we need to select the object first of all here it is selected and then we're going to go object rasterize and then we're going to do some other things but first of all we're going to rasterize this image so right now it's a JPEG or a PNG we're just changing it now we can choose these things here color CMYK the color mode doesn't really matter I'm going to stick to grayscale I've got it set at medium we don't need it very big I'm going to drop it even down to 72 it doesn't matter we're going to use this for something else and now we do the next step which is object make and expand the next one so we come down here to image trace make and expand now it's all this is a really complicated thing to do so just say yes when that comes up and you see now that it has made your drawing into a vector image which is exactly what we want we want a vector image like that now we can color different parts of that image um, it's quite complicated so I might go in and do this this steps not necessary but you can come in here to path and simplify path see that options there if you do this just be really careful future what number you choose here so I can this is choosing the precision and 75 or 80 is about right I'm going to choose that and you'll see that the shape actually changed quite a bit some of the vectors went away so if we compare it before that was it before and now when I go an object um, path simplify when I do this and I've got it on 75 watch how it changes it a wee bit see it just made it a wee bit smoother and I quite like that look um, so I can do that and and what you should do is be consistent remember what that number was so that was 75 percent so every image I hand draw I hand draw it the same way import it the same way change that simplified path the same way so now I've got my object it's all ready to go I need to ungroup it I'm going to ungroup everything because I want this background gone and now I just select that and delete it see it's all gone now these white bits these white bits that are showing here are uh, you can see why they've happened see that there is no space see in here there's some spaces but where is white there is no space so that's what you want in your drawing so if you do a hand drawing or you draw it on your Samsung or you draw it somewhere else for a start make sure you draw a nice drawing without without these spaces we can do it and I'm going to show you how to do that now but ideally we can skip this next step which takes a bit of time if the drawings nice and clean for a start but anyway let's see it's like that we've done it nice and fast I'm just going to delete all these white bits out of it delete them delete them just show you if they were there I could just come and change that color yellow could make that green that's where we want to end up where we've got this drawing that we can manipulate like that right now we can't so I'm going to come in here and get some different bits and clean up tidy up little bits of the drawing so as I come in here I'm going to direct selection see that direct selection tool and you have to be careful with this tool make sure you've clicked on it when the anchors show up it's clicked see what I'm doing I'm just pulling all these bits over no that moved the whole thing there now I've got it the anchor points have come can't quite see what's going on so I'm going to zoom out a wee bit Ah, yes these points here need to change come back to here clicking on these points got it let's bring it across same with this one do you like pull that across to there that's working now I'm on the wrong selection tool quite often you'll forget what selection tool you're on make sure you got that one have I got it yep down here as well and I want to pull that into there and now if I just have a look we should be good everywhere yes that's good so now the next thing I do we need to select everything so I'm gonna select everything here and then go object live paint make that's key remember that object live paint make and now we can use this tool here see that one there live paint bucket now see these red colors showing up that's what I want when I've got all these colors on the inside I can change all of these colors and that's great isn't it so then I can go in and just click on a point I choose my color I always keep your swatches up I'm gonna go yellow I'm gonna make it a fluorescent yellow really strong color and we're going to go there and there yellows in the middle I'll just go this way that'll do obviously I could change these colors if I wanted 
um, but I'm just going to keep it yellow now. Maybe the middle bit I'm going to go lime green. Let's make this a real fluoro bright fish food. So all the green all through the middle. And there we go. Done. There's my, my quite cool image. Very strong image finished straight away. Now, it looks kind of hand-drawn. That's what I'm after. Oh, I see a bit that I've missed down in here. We can get that as well. See, that's showing too. Oh, it's green. I haven't selected the right color. Let's go back and make it yellow. There we go. So I've got my um, image. It's, it's how I like it. It's kind of hand-drawn. It looks rough. 